This is Duke University. It's important not to, um, to misremember uh, the protest that occurred, uh, you know, during the high phase of the civil rights movement, you know, in the 1950s and 60s. Yeah. It's not as if people were not angry. It's not a, as if violence was not occurring. Right. The protests are responses to, to, to institutional and structural kinds of violence. So the question isn't whether or not there's violence or not. Really the question is whether or not those who are contesting uh, you know, institutional and structural forms of violence will use violence uh, either, either defensive forms mm -hmm. of, of violence or offensive forms of violence. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I mean, even when you look at, when you look at Malcolm X and most of what he said, you're gonna be hard pressed to find him advocating offensive forms of violence because right. he was no fool. What he was really arguing is, 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 is something that's, that's a long tradition among African Americans, and that is that African Americans have a right to use violent force to repel violent aggressors. That's really, that really was his argument. Yeah. And, and in fact, uh, I mean, there's actually very little evidence that Malcolm X ever actually resorted to violence himself. Exactly. I mean, certainly we have a story about Nat Turner that suggests that he did resort to violence, but not necessarily the case for, for Malcolm X. I mean, I guess the famous phrase is by any means necessary, which says, to my view, we don't rule out any options. But in terms of him actually engaging in violence himself, uh, there's very little evidence of that. 